Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, this will be Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. And as soon as I'm done with the shuffling, we can jump directly to the uh, reading, guys. By the way, let me uh, know down in, the, uh, down in the comments, do you want me to shuffle in front of camera or off camera? Because obviously shuffling in front of camera, it does uh, take some time and uh, I lose my patience um, generally if I watch a video and just see a person do nothing but just shuffling cards uh, anyway so going to the liberal spread here we do have the Knight of Cups which is the general topic of the week and now that that makes a huge impression into me guys because Libra does have that enormous potential to create new love for like a month and a half all right so they always get something like this at the start for a month and a half and it does look like the your potential continues on throughout this week as well uh, then the uh, <clears throat> The challenge that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the uh, Page of Swords. After that, what we do have is the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the uh, Six of Pentacles. And the guidance here, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. So in case that is a love potential here, it does look like that we do have a something like a love triangle. And it doesn't have to be a love triangle. Well, it is a love triangle, but not in the literal, literal sense. Let's say that you may like a guy, all right, who does have a very jealous ex. They are done with their relationship, but yet that ex is chasing the guy. So something like this could happen for throughout the week. But nonetheless, we do have here the Knight of Cups as a topic of, of uh, your week. And that is a, a very emotional person. Someone who unfortunately likes to daydream as well, uh, uh, as well you know, and they, they, they like to uh, imagine the most positive aspect or the most positive outcome of one situation. The thing is that sometimes the Knight of Wands is a empty talker, all right? They, they talk big, but um, it, they don't have a coverage behind their testimonials or behind their convictions as well. So it will be very beneficial for you if you, before you give yourself away to that person, regardless of what kind of feel that person uh, manifest himself for you, uh, to put their words and statements into the test. Apart from that, Knights of Cups always follows the dreams of their hearts. So if they associate with you, which is going to happen throughout that uh, week, then you are the dream of their heart. Additionally, what you need to know about Knights of Cups is that they don't rely on chances, all right? The Knights of Cups always exert performance and prefer to reach results based on that performance rather than based on a chance. Therefore, with this card, that person is to chase you about something. What? Well, that depends on your uh, current situation. And yeah, we do have the Eights of uh, Wands here. So definitely that is going to be chance deprived week where everything happens um, 
based on personal performance rather than uh, being allowed to develop itself on a miracle as well and you can take those cards also that you are going to be very good at what you do in your job also you know and you are going to be very very good as well into flirting knowing what uh, how how much you can flirt with someone without jeopardizing you know the interest that you do have in between one another uh, and also that person is going to be like that you know they're gonna flirt with you uh, in case we're talking about a romantic endeavor here but their flirting you know and their chase is not gonna be to a point where you start feeling uh, obliged about something or uncomfortable about something as well now the problem here is another one which is the page of swords a, a very very aggressive most likely young woman all right but it could be as well a young male. Uh, Page of Swords has an independable thought. They do not care what you think. They do not care what you feel. They do care only about themselves. Thing with the Page of Swords is that they are very innovative, all right? They are very brilliant and... Uh, if that is a rival of yours that you need to overcome and it should be a rival of yours that you need to overcome as a challenge they could be very creative all right and they could strike exactly in a way that you haven't expected therefore it will be a, a good idea when it comes to this card being a challenge you know to uh, keep your intentions as uh, as a secret as much as possible all right so if you associate yourself uh, with uh, this guy let's say and uh, and there are romantic sparks which are start happening in between you two the most positive thing that you can do guys is to be in the dark or keep that woman here in the dark as much as you can additionally to that we do have the two yeah they, they're gonna definitely attack your love they're gonna definitely attack your sympathy enthusiasm as well and they will try to break up a um cooperation either romantic cooperation relationship you know or business cooperation as well the formation here it is a uh, active neutrals and as an active neutrals it comes really na naturally here that they're going to try to neutralize you know your cooperation with uh, with this person the knights of cups therefore uh, you will have to persevere in into it should you truly value this guy or a girl that is you know because it could be as well a, a female uh, against the odds and against the uh, nefarious and surreptitious actions that that page of swords is going to try to implicate into the week itself additionally to that we do have the next card which is the uh, positivity that you're going to face throughout the week so that is going to be the six of pentacles Six of Pentacles is one of the best cards where the hierarchy are brought to bear. Therefore, it doesn't look like that you will be able to be swapped out of your place, meaning your career is not in jeopardy, right? Should you know your place, your relationship is not in jeopardy, should you know your place. Additionally to that, one of the best cards showing that everything is going to unfold itself naturally as the world order is in, is in place here. The rich man stays rich, the poor man stays poor. Even though the rich gives a coins to the poor to buy a meal, the next day the poor is going to be poor once again, all right? So literally points that uh, you are going to realize that only you can solve your problems and you will start doing something about it, realizing, you know, that attracting help towards your problems are not gonna uh, are not gonna solve them just like uh, the change is not gonna make the the poor man rich all right but it's just gonna postpone the problem of that the poor man should feed himself all right so a uh, help you can attract to your uh, to your endeavors only if you need to postpone the inevitable here or rather like the resolution all right but uh, in generally this card points here that uh, you are good enough on your own or rather like you have the strength to overcome your current issues the accompanied card that is going to be the knight of swords and formation is a passive enemy is what we do have and uh, uh, with, with the passive enemies of these couple of cards you don't even have to try hard all right i mean you don't it, the, the the path for you is pretty much um established forward you pretty much know what you gotta do uh, there there shouldn't be a situation where you have to make a major decisions here as a matter of fact when you face such a situation uh, it is unlikely that you're gonna make the wrong decision uh, in this case 
and uh, you are to benefit from slow and meticulous approach moving on forward rather than being frantic, pushing and bruisey uh, and bruisey as well. But in general, guys, as a positivity of this week, many of your issues are going to be resolved, not because, you know, of any kind of a chance look or anything like that, but it is because you will show that you're strong enough to do it on your own. And of course, you know, when you do something on your own, you do it right. And finally, what we do have is the guidance. That will be the Nine of Cups. So why Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment, you know, sensual joy. It is about a pleasant experience and it is about a wish come true. That is true, but in a short term. What the card here really tells you is that this Knights of Cups person that comes around are, is going to make you happy. All right. It's going to make you happy one way or another. But this happiness is going to be only a short term happiness if you don't do what is necessary to secure on that happiness. So in order for you to traverse the, the short term happiness into a long term happiness, you will have to help it. All right. You will. You should not just stay around inactive in the situation, allowing that person to do your toll as well upon it. But you also need to do your part in the situation either. Uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the temperance. So formation is a, a passive enemies once again. And the temperance is a card of balance. Doesn't really like the nine of cups as the nine of cups points a, a exhilarating state, meaning a, a state of drastic, of the drugs. I don't know how, of ex extreme state. You know, you're not balanced. You're not indifferent. All right. So with the, uh, with the temperance here, uh, it does look like that uh, for some of you Libras, I mean, the joy is going to be more than you can handle, really, because it's truly going to make you going to make your word world, excuse me, looks more colorful and looks all of a sudden or slowly progressing start worth living again. So it does look like that this person coming around for you this week, Libras, is going to be a gift and you will have to nurture and cherish that gift and um, by nurturing, I mean you need to allow them to grow, all right, and to dapple your world with colors. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.